the thing when i first saw it i i honestly said i will never sleep in that room right you did but now like that's a awesome hangout spot dude that is legit would you give me all all you got to give back would you break my fall Cause you got me trippin' Let's it's gon' play sick See him face it Doing things I never do at all what up man we are excited man we are getting on to our next video here and that is going to be to overhaul the uh master bedroom bathroom if you will i have some ideas there i'm not sure what i'm going to do yet but the carpet is coming out of course we will continue this up to the top we did start uh overhauling the bathroom with this right and some of you will say wow that looks pretty nice right it does look pretty nice but i just don't like it because it looks okay here, but over here behind the bathroom, uh, behind the toilet, I'm sorry, uh, it wasn't that good, man. It's like, you can see the light here. It really like shines these lines because it's not, these things aren't perfect. They're just like cheap vinyls. I have opted to go to what we are using out here, which is the frosted um, real wood. And I know some people say, oh, that's crazy having it next to the water, but it's really not because um, and I made Thompson water seal it. I don't even think I have to. First off, you don't generate a ton of steam out of these showers like you do at your house, right? I mean, it trickles, you know, warm water out from a six gallon water heater. So I'm not too concerned about, oh, this thing being like some steam fest that's going to over, you know, destroy the wood over time. So I'm just not seeing that. Dude, that back wall is going to be the reclaimed wood as well. And I think we're just going to paint the sides. I think think you never know i could end up putting stuff on the I mean, that's a lot of work dude uh i don't know but i think i'm gonna do that we are gonna put curtains up and get rid of the blinds um yeah that's where we are man we are truck in here and we are gonna get it on carpet's gotta come out this thing is heavy dude oh my god this mattress is so heavy i don't know how i'm gonna get it out of here but we're gonna have to you're not over here cooking steak what are you doing here man um i'm cutting up irish spring with my nice my nice life. Keep it nice away. Oh, man. They don't like Irish Spring for some reason, man. That's crazy, right? Yeah, I like, I like Irish Spring. So. We gotta use some more for Irish money. Spring and what and uh, what else? Uh, fabric softener, fabric right? Fabric softener. So we're filling all some of the drawers with fabric softener. And we can show you. We poop it in there. Let's open that. Yeah? Oh, did you put some in here already? All right. All right, I want to show you a super valuable tool that's worth picking up. You can get these anywhere, man. They're on Amazon. I don't know. Whatever. They're all this, they're, they're really inexpensive, but they are very good for things like this, right? Because I am going to have to have a board that comes from here to here, and it's going to be a tricky cut. So you basically just get this thing, and you do that, right? And so then you just trace that cut onto your um, board, and hopefully it's close. So... Little tip, make life a little easier. Yeah, I have to lay uh, the flooring down on the top part and I have to scribe it. So I have to put this on there and underneath I'll scribe it. And hopefully it's gonna be a little tricky, but hopefully we can do that. Okay, well, we are moving on the flooring. I was worried about it not being square, but surprisingly to me, it is square. I don't think I'm gonna need edging there, like a bullnose or a quarter round, sorry. But I will need one here. I busted the quarter, or the edge off here so I have to replace that this is gonna go here but uh basically it's like this right here that'll look clean I think when I get done and it'll hold all that flat it would look cool in here to have twin beds but then of course you know there's no snuggle time when it's cold I think I'm gonna try to offset the bed instead of putting it in the middle sideways like this which left a big space right here I think I'm gonna try to go in with it, which will leave a big space over here. That edging came out slick, man. I wasn't sure how that was gonna turn out. Although I did use the screws. It comes with nails. I used screws instead. I thought that would be better. So what are you doing out here, man? You got some fancy sauce going on? Fancy sauce? Yeah. <laughs> fancy sauce. So what? This fancy is the... sauce, AKA paint. Yeah, fancy sauce. <laughs> I like fancy sauce. We're gonna redo this table, right? Yes. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to put the reclaim wood, right? The frosted reclaim on the top and the side, you're going to paint the kind of the color of everything we're yeah. doing in there, right? It's like a light grayish color. 
Yeah, it's kind of warm. I don't think it really matches perfect, but at this point, I'm just Whatever. like, yeah, just get just it on, dude. With it. Yeah. This is a well, huge transformation. It's a home run for us. It's a home run for us, right? That's we're we're YouTube. I think we've exceeded YouTube DIYers. But listen, I think we've exceeded people's expectations, right? I mean, I've seen people that have seen it go like, yes. "Whoa, I did not expect that," right? Yes, the old owners that came over here. Yeah, we saw them. They told us it smelled like new construction. New construction. Well, it does smell like new construction, yeah. right? Yeah. This was a 1990s uh, Nomad Skyline. Skyline. And when we saw it. I was really questioning, like, I don't know what we can do with this thing, right? But we, we have made. We kind of were like. Uh, maybe we should be looking at other trailers. Yeah, but you know what? I think it was a good idea to keep this. Uh, the, the kitchen, we you can see that in our other video. We knocked out the sitting area. We opened it up. We changed all the flooring. We repainted everything. Rebuilt this whole section down here that you can see. But that's not why we're here. Today, we're finally wrapping up the bedroom. The bedroom and the bathroom. That was huge, man. The smell was bad. Smell was... It was a thing when I first saw it, I... have I honestly said, I will never sleep in that room, right? You did. But now, like, that's an awesome hangout spot, dude. That is legit. And it's, this thing's awesome, dude. I can't wait to show up. So let's just get in there. I'm going to let you go in there first. Okay. And then we'll just show it to him, man, because yeah. this is straight up legit. Here, All right, man. Where Here it is. Where let's it is. show it to him, man. I can't wait to see it. Man. This thing, the transformation, I mean, just the color palette, I think was, you know, taking it's it- huge. It was huge because we weren't sure what we were gonna do in here, right? I mean, we were thinking like, okay, well, maybe we'll do it warm colors, maybe we'll paint the whole thing, but we ended up going, which we ended up going with the reclaimed wood, right? Yeah, in the back. Not too. wallpaper. No, it all flows. So it it all nice. flows, right? Yeah. I'm gonna back up here just a tick so they can see it because- Have it pan down from the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna do it right here. Look at this. So we took the floor, we, we weren't sure what we were going to do with the steps here on the side. Of course, this was all carpet before, but uh, we opted to go with the reclaimed wood, right? And I think that was the right call because, you know, it flows. The whole thing flows into here and here, and it really feels like log cabin-y, right? I mean, it feels it natural. It feels like, feels like new construction or yeah. new homes type thing. So it's kind of nice to, I enjoy um, sleeping in here. Yeah. You love it, man. Every yeah. time you you go to bed early now, yeah, I can so you can at, hang out in I here. Go to bed at 8:30. Right. <laughs> Come here. But we did go, and let me show. I'm gonna spin around here. We did go. This was cool, right? Because of course this was all brown before. Yeah. It was like typical 19, what you'd expect out of a 1990 yeah. trailer. Still have to do some. So I'm gonna do a little bit of touch there. up paint here, but uh, and this is actually really cool. Let me show them the toilet area because this is like so slick. I thought it was a good idea to have a clock, right? Because when yeah. you get to the lake and you want to know like what time is it, and I've already, and the cool thing too, we we got the one with the temperature, which I thought was a good call because it gets hot and cold here. So you want to know, and the humidity too. But um, yeah, this is, uh, man, we changed the toilet out. I have to say the toilet, I think was- A major contributor to the smell. Of the smell. So if you have an older trailer, one thing I would suggest is just getting rid of a toilet. Yeah, get they're so it. cheap, they're like a hundred and yeah. something bucks. And that, seriously, it was and just- And they were very, it was easy to install. Not as hard as you would think. Yeah, very install, very easy. Uh, one thing that we did do, we did put the flooring down, but we also put some top coat on it. The tropical. The tropical stuff, which is actually for heat stuff on the top. We really didn't need the tropical. Any kind of coating would have yeah. worked. But what, what that did was it allowed us to seal the wood. So if there is any leaks in the future, we don't have to worry about it. That's true. Right? These were really cool. Uh, you can make these yourself. They're very inexpensive. Just go into the um, it's electrical. Is it electrical or is it plumbing? That's plumbing. That's okay. Plumbing. Yeah. And um, you can make these little iron holders here. And uh, man, you can't buy anything better than that. Isn't that cool? And then we just spray painted it with the yeah. rubbed oil. Yeah. yeah. Bronze spray. Yeah, just a bronze stuff. spray. And it comes out real good. And uh, yeah, man, that came out real good. We made a matching set over here. That's real cool. You know, one thing that we added, of course, we painted this. You can't really tell. It's a light, it's a light gray, yeah. it's super light. It may look white, but it's not white. It's a light gray. And you can see this was the color. We decided not to do the interior. But one thing I would add, if you are um, getting into redoing your cabinets, get the magnet, get these magnets right here because they are really clean and really easy to install and they keep it just a really nice, it just keeps it in there a little yeah. bit, right? And we put them all in all the cabinets here and that was really cool. Uh, this was a little tricky though, back to the steps, because we had to make the corners, right? But I think we hit it with that color, right? Oh, that yeah. pewter color. The pewter color trim pops it off. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's tricky. Nice. 
It is a tricky cut. This this cut right here was probably the hardest out of this whole thing as far as cutting. Yeah, he did do it quite a couple times. But come on, give it up, dude. That's pretty good, right? That's yeah. almost pro level. I mean, there's probably like tools out there that make you get that perfect, but I don't have those. But that is pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, so really good. So uh, back up here, I want to kind of get up here and show you. Um, we replaced all the lighting, right? Yeah. Not just in here, but... All the top pieces too. Yeah, all the top pieces. We added a fan in here, that, a big fan that would allow us to get all the smell out. Because when the smell was bad, I was yeah. just trying to get the we smell out. Pan back so we can see what the, the ceiling looked like. We're yeah, so we're still, we got a little bit more, but that's what we have. We just have wallpaper, right? And so when you paint it though, it actually turns out really good. I'm shocked at how good it comes out. And uh, even when you, areas that don't have it, where you sand it, it's almost hard to tell, yeah. right? So um, we did add a fire extinguisher in here. We do have some lighting in here. Fire alarm. Fire alarm, I'm sorry. Um, and we do have some lighting in here that is battery operated in case the power goes out. But these lights are, I can tell you that these lights make this whole trailer look like a hospital, right? Yeah, they're very bright. There was some other lighting in here that um, the bulbs were, what is it, uh, incandescent? Incandescent, yeah. Um, and it smelled like... Um, Burning was, plastic. Yeah, I was about to start. In we fact, had, I think we did burn we one. We melted one, right? Yeah, when I first turned them on, I melted the, the, the outside piece came. And they were dark. Yeah, and kind of gloomy. They were like amber. Yeah, they were like an ambery dark yeah. man. It's really now we do still have our curtains coming in. Those aren't in yet, but we did get our curtain rods up, um, and we extended them all the way to the back, right? Um, now the back is uh, it's not curved, but it's angled. It's an angle. It's an angle. It looks curved though. If you look at like, from the pictures and stuff, you would think that it's curved, but it's not. Um, one of the best things that I think that you did do was when you put the TV in. The TV in. The I'll show them that. Let me get up here yeah. because I think you're right. I think this was a big thing because um, it first freed, off it had... It freed up a lot of space too. Right. Because it was on a table and it was, it was, uh, there was a smaller one, right? So we were able to get a bigger TV, get it up in the air, mount it to the wall. There's no wires. Um, and we saved this, right? Give it up for that, man. We did save... We did save the uh, the drawers here, and um, I gotta close that, man. I think that works. Right. There we go. I did uh, save this, and I thought we used some of the reclaimed wood on it, painted it white, put some new handles, and I think it looks like a million bucks in here, right? So that came out good. Um, one thing that we did too that I thought was really good, of course, we added our speaker up here, a Bluetooth speaker that we use for our karaoke. You saw our review on it if you watched it, but we rotated the bed, man. We rotated this bed, it was sideways, and we made it vertical like this because it allowed us to have a spot for our dog, dude. So now we have a spot for Shelby. She'll be able to come in here and have fun with us. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, um, that spot's gonna be a lot better for her because before she would fall off the bed. <laughs> Yeah. And smack into the blinds. Oh, she had a panic there. attack. Yeah, she, she fell into the. She yeah, had a panic. She, she fell into the blinds and got stuck. And got sideways, scared, and it was back. like a mess, right? Yeah. So yeah, we got that. And one thing that's nice too, by having it like this, is that when you before it was sideways, right? So yeah. if you were in the back or I was in the back to get out, you had to crawl over the other yeah. person. Well, now you don't have to do that. You just come straight out, right? So and you would think sometimes people were saying that you're gonna smack your head on that thing above you, but. I haven't smacked my head. No. I know you just know to scoot forward. You're talking about the back part, right? Because we were we were kind of debating like this thing, like should we have it like this? Also too, I want to show you that we actually put the reclaimed wood on the bottom side of it, which actually, fin I thought it looks nice when you're laying there. It's it, a finishing touch. It's a finishing touch because the bottom, you know, really wasn't finished before. We also added the reclaimed wood here, which I thought was really cool. Um, maybe later on we could put something here, but it is just a really, nice chill spot we also replaced the speakers right all the way through yeah. and that's kind of cool i guess later on if you just want to have some music on got that phone thingy. yeah this is really cool too um if you have this is really cool this actually if you're sleeping under this because when this isn't here you can really feel when it's cold out or when it's hot right well this insulates that so that has really helped out quite also, a bit it keeps the sun out it does keep the sun out right yeah some people buy it just to keep the sun out they but, do? Yeah. Okay. Our friends Chad and Lindsay bought one just for the sun. All right. So we did go, we kept the, um, we did keep the, the we, I know we were debating, right, about changing this, has some stuff in there, but we did end up putting the reclaimed wood on the top. This doesn't spray a lot of water, so I'm not too concerned yeah. about it. 
And we um, haven't painted the roof in here yet. No, we haven't done that yet. That. We're working on that. But I know that we had talked about painting this and we talked ourselves out of it, right? Because yeah. this is in such good condition. It wasn't It wasn't worth the headache of trying to. No. And let's say if we painted it and then it started peeling. Oh, oh God. Then you got to replace it. Who yeah, you got to replace it. I ain't doing that. Who cares if the color's a little off? And we've heard mixed stories on that, right? Yeah, Some people there, say. There was good reviews and bad reviews, but there wasn't enough amazing reviews that I just said, let's wash our hands yeah. with that idea. And we can always put a white white sink in here. These are actually fairly cheap if we want to do that, but we did replace the outlet. There was a funky outlet in there before that all got replaced. And earlier we switched all these out. We put a three switch in. So yeah, I think overall I'm pretty stoked on it. It, it, came, it, came along very nice. it did. And you know, this, this area you'd be surprised. Like people come to this cabin and when they walk through those doors, they're floored because first off the outside of the, because we haven't got to the outside yet, the outside trailer does not look it's like very, this it's very deceiving it's very it's incognito right i mean yeah. this thing is like um and we'll get to the outside later but the thing is, is like when you walk in here it's just a seamless transition from the cabin and i'll show you how this works so when you walk in here so the blinds are up here so you don't actually get to see it but yeah so, it kinda hides it. so this is our cabin man i mean yeah, i, I really gotten into the cabin part we right painted, we painted the outside of the Right. So you did, that was before we did the blinds. Right. So. Yeah. But yeah, we really haven't gone into. We haven't really got in. I mean, people like so you know. In fact, when people put that back down real quick, so like that. Of course, this is the side of the trailer. But the thing is, is like when when people come in here, they don't realize that this is the trailer. In fact, they say like, "What? What am I looking at here?" It's just confusing because it's seamless like a door entry. There's no door, right? You just walk in here, and it's like another room, right? Yeah. You've got the kitchen. They just were like, oh, here's the kitchen. Yeah, you've got the kitchen. Here's the bedroom. Here's the bedroom. You're like, what am I in right now? This is an RV. And then it like, it hits them that this is the RV that we're in. They always go, is this the RV? Yeah. Right. Then they were like, where's the table? And we're all, we demoed it. Yeah, it's gone. She's gone. And that was a big decision because I originally wanted to get it. You didn't want to get rid of it. And I said, dude, look how much more room we'd have. Go over once, there real quick. You, well, once you started removing the stuff and now you explained to me that this is, this is cool because this is a prep station I have when I cook in here. Yeah. before this was the table was all right here so. right yeah and like i said this this place lights up man i mean when you get all these lights on right here i mean it is like a hospital dude i mean it is like bright and it was so dark before it was like oh man it's kind of depressing it was a little, it was a little right and of course this thing right here we got our tin and all that stuff we got all of our all of our big tiles whatever you call yeah. it but hey, i think overall i think for both of us i mean we do a lot of we, we've this been, was a very good investment. I think for us, it's a good investment. And it's been great family time. Our girls like coming up here. They right. like doing projects, a little fishing. And we haven't really got to the point, because we work on this thing all the time, yeah. that we haven't got to the point where we are showing up here and just enjoying, enjoying everything yet, right? Yeah, I mean, we're still true. working and there's still more to do, but I'm hoping by summer, it's a it's a full on like fun time for us. I'm just hoping there's one weekend where we don't take a trip to a hardware store. Yeah, I don't know about that. I can't promise you that. I can't, I'm just telling you, I don't want you to get your hopes up. But uh, we are back. And anyway, uh, for this video, thank you for following our series. You know, I, we have people ask us questions sometimes, um, but I will say, uh, throw us a like, throw us, or not a like, I guess, subscribe or whatever, and follow us. And you never know, I can tell you that we do a lot of improvement stuff. Like, I don't know what we're gonna do next. We've done boats, we do boats, we do trailers, we've done kitchens, we've done, we do a lot of improvement stuff. You have an idea. Yeah, that yep. you think maybe we should conquer. Yeah. Yeah, throw it at us. Let me know. Yeah. Yeah, let me know. I'm not going to do your trailer, though. I will tell you that. I've had a lot of people say, will you do my trailer? I'm not going to get into doing trailers. Because this is, you, when you do a trailer, I will tell you that, that you have to be immune to rat, poop, and stench. Stench. <laughs> and you have to be immune to that. And it is hard, dude, sometimes to do that. So yeah. it is just a yeah, lot. Of, you have to have a strong stomach. Right. A little mildew walls, a little decaying wood, a little rat yeah. poop, a little urine. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Sounds yeah. like a blast. But there is a reward when you yeah. get it done. And like I said, there's this this place has zero smell to it at all. And that alone is like, a, and for, for a 1990 yeah. RV, everybody knows what an RV smells like. Yeah. Right. There's a musky smell and that's not here. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you guys got something out of this. And I will try to answer some questions if you do have it. Um, but uh, yeah, man, this is our 1990 uh, sky, Skyline, Skyline Nomad. Nomad. And the you know nomad. what? The Nomad bedroom makeover. And there it is. <laughs>